Okay, last geotech homework number nine. Uh, we're told a compression index of a soil is 0.31. When the effective stress on the soil is 2600 PSF, the void ratio is 1.04. We first want to compute the settlement of a 16 foot layer with single drainage when the stress is increased gradually to 3900 PSF. We can sort of tell just looking at this that we're going to be dealing with that SC with the thickness and the C sub C because we don't know a C sub V here. This coefficient, this compression index, doesn't have any units after it. So that's our C sub C is equal to 0.31. We know the effective stress on the soil, so we, that's our sigma naught, it's 2600 PSF, and our void ratio is 1.04. All right, we want to compute the settlement of a 16 foot layer, so it's 16 feet, uh, with single drainage, so it just stays at 16 feet, but we're not even interested in HDR at this point because we're increasing the stress gradually to 3900 PSF. So my total stress is going to be increased to 3900 PSF. So to find my delta sigma, I'm going to have to take that 3900 PSF and subtract what I started with, that 2600 PSF. So that's a trick to this problem. You have to find that actual change. Remember, delta means change. So that's going to be 1300 PSF for your delta sigma in this problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our formula here. We'll use that long one with the C sub C. We have H over one plus the initial void ratio times that coefficient times that log of sigma naught plus delta sigma over sigma naught. I'm gonna go ahead and do this log piece first um, and get a decimal for that. And then I'll plug in the other values. So, and I'll up at that here. So I have the log of um, 2600 PSF plus 1300 PSF divided by 2600 PSF. And remember, I'm not going to take the log until I've done all of that math inside the parentheses. So let's do that first 2600 plus 1300 divided by 2600. So I get 1.5, that's nice and easy, and I'll take the log of that, and I get 0 0.176. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this formula now. My S sub C, plug in our values, H is going to be 16 feet, 1 plus my initial void ratio, 1.04, times C sub C of 0 0.31 times 0 0.176. All right, so I'll plug that into my calculator. I have 16 divided by, I'll call that 2.04 times 0 0.31 times 0.176. And I get a settlement of 0 0.428 inches I'm sorry, 0 0.428 feet, right? We use the units that um, we're using for the H there. And let's go ahead, let's go ahead though and convert that into inches. We'll multiply it by 12 and we get 5.14 inches. All right, so that's how we do part A of number eight. Let's take a look at part B. I'm sorry, this is number nine. <laughs> number nine. All right, for the settlement to be 70% complete, the coefficient of consolidation is 0 0.02 feet squared per day, so there's that C sub V, and the drainage can occur in both directions. So we've got double drainage going on here. So as soon as I see that double drainage, that's kind of the first thing I'm gonna write down here. Um, I know that uh, HDR is gonna be H over two because it can drain either direction, so it's only half of that. 
And so in this case, it's 16 feet divided by two, and that's eight feet. Okay, I was also told in that problem, um, we wanna get 70% complete. So my U is gonna be 70%. And I'm also told the C sub V is 0 0.02. So 0 0.02 feet squared per day. Okay, so let's go ahead and think about what formula we need to use. The thing we wanna find here is how much time. So we're looking for that little t, but I'm gonna find the big t first because I know the u. You know, whenever you see the u, think big t. Whenever you've got the t, think about finding the u. They're really partners and you sort of need them to figure a lot of this stuff out. The U is 70% here, and so my big T is 0.403. So I'll write that in here, 0 0.403. And again here, I'm gonna use the formula that's right on the bottom of this page. And I'll write it in here. That, slide this down a bit. Oop. T equals CVT, little t, over HDR squared. This time I'm going to go ahead and solve for T. I'll just plug the numbers in to show you what that would look like if you didn't want to solve it algebraically first. It is possible to do it this way. So I have 0 0.403 for T. Remember, that's dimensionless. I have 0 0.02 feet squared per day for my CV. I don't know what my little t is. That's what I'm trying to find. And my H dr is 8 feet and I have to square that whole thing. So I'll leave this as 0 0.403 and I'll go ahead and solve that 0 0.02 divided by 8 squared. Well that's 64. Ooh, that's gonna be nice and small. Zero point, this is a part where it's really important to count those zeros carefully. 1, 2, 3, uh, I'm just going to write it all down. 3, 1, 2, 5, T. Okay. Now in order to solve this, I have to divide both sides by that coefficient. So 0 0.0003125. I'll put it here too. 0 0.0003125. Oop, and those will go away. And I'll be left with T. You could certainly round that too. Um, just writing it all down, but it's really up to you. So point 403 divided by 1.1233125. And I get 1289.6 days. So that's a nice long time. Um, let's figure out how many years that is. Divide it, oops, divide it by 365. So it's about three and a half years. So three and a half years to get to 70%, oops, and off the page there, to get to that 70% consolidation. Okay, that's it. Those are the Geotech homework problems for chapter six.